Look at you, Richard. What do you got going on? Water heaters, electronics. Today Jesus. we're going to talk about catastrophic water damage, flooding in a house. Okay. There's plenty of things filled with water in a house. A glass line steel tank like this, they last, what, every seven to nine years. And if they fail, what happens? Full city water pressure starts to come in. Well, that's not all. You got you got washing machine hoses behind washing machines that could be on the second floor, dishwashers, a lot of different places. If you're not home, that water could be pouring in your house for days. So this is a master emergency <laughs> shutoff device that sits at the water main. So imagine the water main coming from the street comes here. Here's the ball valve right here. So yep. if you look inside there, that's a full port ball valve that can close mm -hmm. or open. And that opens and closes based on a signal that it gets whenever right. it senses right. water. So this basic technology has been around for a while, but we used to be limited with what we had for sensing. It used to be it was hardwired sensors that would go down around the water heater. So there's a limited number of places you could do it. Not easy to snake that up to the second floor right. washing machine. So now this thing has one wire that goes to this receiver or hub mm -hmm. right here. And I'm seeing an antenna. Correct. So now with RF or Wi-Fi, it goes to these hockey pucks, these pucks, Very cool. up to 78 of them. Wow. So a little that means sensor on the bottom, little you can, probes. You can put them strategically around a building. You say, all right, I want to be near the water heater. I need, need to be near the boiler, behind the washing machine, under the refrigerator, under the kitchen near sink, a behind a toilet, all kinds of different places. Okay? okay. So now I'm going to put one right here. I have a device hooked up to the sink right here. So I'm going to turn this on so we see water running right here. Yes. So now... So With even a little bit of water dripping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now you hear the alarm. And in a minute, you're going to see this shut off right here. So this is... There. We no just now shut off all the water in the house. Kidding. Holy so, mackerel. So now I can clear the alarm. Wow. Now you can go around the building and you can find which one. The red flash will tell you which one it is. And so it could be something... Not a flood. It could be somebody spilled some water, or snow came so in, and melted, nuisance or, whatever it is. Okay, so when that's the case, then we can just turn on and reset. Oh, the valve just opens back up. It's back up. Okay. So if you don't, if you don't do that, and you're still, you're not sure. It also has a manual override here, so you're never going to be a prisoner of the technology. Wow, that is very cool. So you don't have to worry about these burst uh, right. washer machine hoses? Correct. There's another thing you don't have to worry about. This thing also has a low temperature alarm, meaning oh. you could put these in a basement, and if the basement ever got down to a place where the pipe could freeze, it could save the house. So somebody going away for the winter, this is a great thing. An ounce of prevention. I cool? love it. Yeah, that's very cool. Yes, All right. Sir. Thank you.